Hey. Yeah. I thought of a joke that a friend told me a long time ago that oh. I thought you would really get. I'm okay, gonna tell okay, okay, I'm ready. You like this joke okay. before we go in here to fight this okay. guy. Okay. Okay, how many moles are in a guacamole? Avocado's number. <laughs> You guys, I wish you could have seen the look of satisfied, uh, did, satisfaction did you, on Ted's. Did you even get it? No. <laughs>Welcome back to the basement. We're playing Super Metroid and Peter's got the controller. We are about to head into our first really real super big boss. Yeah, let's see how this goes. And uh, this is pretty uh, sweet. Can I touch those? Uh, nope, they are spiky and you will die. Whoa. Well, you won't die, but they'll hurt you. Oh, what's this? Uh, rocks coming out of the ground. Ooh, geez. Oh, Ooh, boy. Uh. Yeah, he's gross. He he's is, gross. He's very Jabba. He's oh, pressing the wrong. So he'll come up and he'll. You can make him open his mouth by hitting him in the eyes with a with a missile. So you see how you, you're making him open his mouth up. Oh, oh, oh snap! Man. So I had this uh, history teacher in high school. Uh huh. Yeah. Who had an Audi for a belly button? But this guy definitely gives him a run for his money. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> Okay, so d can I hit him with not a missile in the eyes to get him to open his mouth? Uh, maybe, I think, maybe. But you always just end up using missiles. I just, yeah. Because, like, the normal missiles, like, even at this point in the game, they're already kind of throwaway. Like, you can you can spare a few, you know? Yeah. Oh, I tried to use the super one, and I hit him in the hand. Oh, boy, I'm taking a lot of damage here. It's all right. You can do it. I believe in you, Peter. Oh, thanks. Me and my history teacher are both saying, hey, come on, do us a favor here. You can do it. So he's turning brownish. <laughs> he's turning brownish. Does that mean I'm doing damn? Oh, look, there were missiles there. Oh, boy. Oh, I just missed him. <gasps> you can shoot those the little flippity dudes that are flying around. Yeah, I feel like I don't want to use the missiles on that, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be okay with it. Oh, I'm way, I'm down to 97 here, okay. What does he sound like? <laughs> um, oh, nice super missileage. Uh. He is so orange right now. Ah, shoot! There's the rest of the super missiles. Oh, oh, jeez! Oh man! Oh, come on! Oh man! Oh. I'm an elephant. Open your dumb mouth. Uh, uh, this isn't looking too oh, good. No. You're almost out of health, almost out of missiles. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, it's not it. Look at my health. Okay, there it oh, goes. Do, 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 do. In a blaze of attractiveness. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's very much like Sailor Moon putting on her costume. It's like white. <laughs> well, that was really dirty oh. of me. I just reference Sailor Moon. All right, Sailor hey, Moon. it's right. Let's go. Let's do this again. Okay, Let's this time again. in the we'll basement, are we going to cut? Are we going to cut to it? Yeah, we'll see. Let's see how interesting the banter is. <laughs> I'm going to try to make close. it really dull. We're pretty darn close to the, the boss. I'm too, just going to so. say druid over and over <laughs> as a reference to Pastor Jason. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, that's why. Remember that? Remember that? Yep, I do remember that. Oh, I thought of something funny that I didn't say. What was it? I don't remember. How do I get there? Where do I go? Am I going this uh, way? Here, I'll get us there. You tell the funny thing yeah, that, that you... you were going to say. Um, okay, so it's probably aired by the time this airs. I believe so. Uh, we did an Oregon Trail playthrough, and uh, our good friend Amy Dahl was in the wagon. And she got cholera at one point, which we called Amy Dollara because her name is Amy Dahl. <laughs> but then, which we said, and what that was funny. But then later, uh, what did she get? Oh, measles! And I was watching that the episode, uh, which is not live as of the recording of this. And uh, I said, "Say Amyzels, <laughs> say Amyzels," for Amy getting measles, and I just never did. 
I guess it's not that funny. <laughs> I just thought it would work. And I like usually when I watch these old episodes and I hear something that makes me think of a joke, I think to my past self, Peter, say, say this Amusals. joke. And then almost every time I say it, <laughs> <clears throat> which just proves that like me and me from a couple weeks ago think similarly, I guess, which makes sense. But oh boy, okay, Boom. here we go. And here we go. All right, this one's gonna go better. You and a couple minutes ago, you are now synced up with each other. Boom. That's true. Here we and here we <clears> go. <throat> Here. Say a measles. Go a measles. A missiles. Say a measles. <laughs> say a missiles. Oh, I have to. I have to trigger them, don't I? I was just standing here waiting for it. Oh, <laughs> here he is. And I think you can use charge beam on his mouth too. Uh, how do I charge? Oh, hold the just button like down. That. Yeah, he's gross for sure. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good time to do it. You get one free one right there. Oops. Oh. oh. <laughs> and there's one unfree one. Okay. You might get another one. So. Oh. I might earn another missile. Oh, yeah, like if on. you see those flippy hands, you can shoot those with like out missile without missiles and they'll turn into life or other missiles for you. Let's see. Oh. oh, I thought I was shooting uh, just my gun there. Oh boy, this does not bode very well. Okay. That's right. You know what? That's right. Open your dumb mouth. <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot him in the head. Shoot that buffalo. Shoot that buffalo. <laughs> oh, this guy has superfluous buff bu uh, bu uh, belly buttons. I think one of my favorite words that I know in Spanish is the word for belly button. Yeah. Which is ombligo. Ombligo? Yeah. yeah. It's good pretty word. good. I wish I could stand on his hand. Get up there. So I can tell you right oh. now, the thing that's really hurting you, I think, the most. Yeah. Is you're focusing a little too much on trying to shoot him. It, you know how, like, and not, some enemies you'll do better if you try to shoot him, and other enemies you'll do better if you try to dodge him? Yeah. And then you'll just find an opening and you'll shoot him? This is definitely one of those dodge the enemy. I'm thinking a little a little too much about like all the buttons that I'm trying to remember to press too. Oh, sure. Like I'm still sort of thinking about switching between things, but I do. I definitely think getting on that second platform and chasing him down is not as beneficial as just waiting for him to come close yep. to this first platform. You get a lot more time to react to those belly button rockets. Open your mouth. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was the, uh, oh, I'm thinking back. This is reminding me of a boss battle that, like, I forget which one of us it was, but one of us, like, really struggled with it, and one of us then did really well with it. Was it Symphony of the Night? That wasn't, yeah, that wasn't very descriptive. <clears throat> well... I think, think I should give it a I shot. I think Ted's going to try this boss now. He's, he's right. going to show us how it's done. Well, I'm going to try. If you guys have never played this game before, that's a taste of how hard that boss actually is. And now here's a taste of uh, how the boss doesn't look as hard as he is when you have played the game before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember he's pretty hard for this early in the game. Like, it's not... This is early in the game? I thought that was the last boss. Just kidding. Do you talk funny when you have a cold? Oh, yeah. Do Who your, doesn't? Do your M's sound like B's? Yep. And your N's sound like D's? I, when my wife catches a cold, and then I, like, I'll just all of a sudden realize that she's been talking funny for hours. Like, you know, you kind of don't hear it, and then all of a sudden you hear it all at once. Like, oh, she's been talking hilariously for a long time. Why wasn't I making fun of her earlier? Yeah, and then I'll start <laughs> laughing. And she'll say, what? And I'll say, you're talking funny. Or I'll repeat her last phrase to her in cold accent, you know? And then without fail every time, she'll say, it's dot fuddy. Which, of course, is hilarious. It's dot fuddy. Well, she means it's not funny. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty. But it's fu really funny. It's pretty fuddy.
What is the, um, um... There's oh, a... Hey! Yeah. I thought of a joke that a friend told me a long time ago that oh. I thought you would really get. I'm okay, gonna tell okay, okay, I'm ready. You like this joke okay. before we go in here to fight this okay. guy. Okay, yeah, we know we need a little uh, comedic uh, tension break Okay, right okay, here. okay. Relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many moles are in a guacamole? Avocado's number. <laughs> you guys, I wish you could have seen the look of satisfied uh, <laughs> did, satisfaction. Did you, did you even get it? No. <laughs> I think it might actually be a physics joke, not a not a math, not a math, math joke. joke. It's Av Avogadro's number is is how many uh, moles are in a jewel or something like that. Oh. See, so you can use. Well, when you said. Would you, did you say guacamole? Yeah, like a guacamole. But you get it like avocados. Now, oh, see, he now raises makes... based on how hurt he is. I think. Because it took him longer the first time I fought him, but I didn't hit him with higher firepower. Okay, it makes me feel okay that you're getting hit by some stuff. Oh, wow. That just gave me missiles. Oh, shoot. Yeah, see? It's hard. See? See? See, guys? Oh. Sounds like, um, I know what he sounds like. He sounds like the dying Stegosaurus in Jurassic Park. Remember, it's just laying there? You can't just leave that lion there. Well, he's pretty brown. Is that about how brown I got him my first time? And then I died. You still have 207 energy left. That's pretty good. Ted is concentrating on the boss battle <laughs> yes. right now. So, when you said mole and then a uh, guacamole, something like that, I thought the number, the the answer was going to have to do with the number E because you said guacamole instead of guacamole E. Oh! You were super close. I, I must have been close, yeah. Boom. Dude, good job. Thank wow, you. Wow, look at all that stuff. <sighs> and the ground turned a pleasant shade of mucusy green. <laughs> I just used super missile. I really didn't mean it. Super missile to open a regular Oh, door. yeah. Look at that. What do we get? Various, Various suit. suit. Yes. What does that do? It means that we can withstand super high temperatures. Oh, yeah. So this is an all the time thing. Yep. Most and of, also, most of I think you take is, less damage, it? too. Um, but look at we're all orange now. Yeah, that suit is super awesome. Pumped up. Hey, next time in the basement. Yeah. Next time in the basement, we will continue our pursuits of all things uh, science fiction -y and creepy gross uh, here on the planet Z. Bzz, while we try, while we try to defeat yeah. the mother bee brain and try not to meet our untimely d <laughs> <laughs> and you can join us for that dennis uh, yeah our <laughs> untimely dem dennis demise <laughs> <laughs> i like dennis better <laughs> what, if, what, dennis. If, what if somebody's name was spelled denise but they uh, i pronounce it denies oh okay i've got a story to tell don't go to the green screen Okay, cool. Or go to the green screen and then fade back from it. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if you could do that. I don't know if I just created 45 minutes of work for uh I could probably do Steve. it. I don't know if I will, though. We'll see. We'll find, out. <laughs> we'll find out. You know already if you're listening to this. Hey, we can go through here now. Um, There's a gal that works at the bank that I go to, and her name is B-R-I-T-A-N-I. -I, and and okay. it's just Brittany. <laughs> but T there's so N many I? B R I T A N I. Britanny. Yeah, it looks like or Britanny is a Britanny. I forget what I said. It looks a lot like a like Britannica, you know, Encyclopedia Britannica. Ooh, ooh, energy tank. I was like, this room has something. Gotta have something in it. So okay. I, I anyway. called her Britanny, and all of the other bank tellers who weren't doing anything laughed and laughed, and she said, "It's Brittany," and I was like. Oh, I'm so sorry. And then the other employees were like, no, don't be. Call her Britanni. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so I think she's taken some flack for it already. But guys, <laughs> if you're having kids or about to have kids or you're thinking of kid names, just spell it in a way that makes sense, please. Especially <laughs> if it's a common name and, you, and you're and you thinking about spelling it weird. Josh. J-O-S-H-X. Yeah. A Q J O seven four Metroid. No, don't spell Josh that way. It's, Did we not get the thing after Braid? Craig? I don't know. 
Uh, we'll find out next time in the basement. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. We enjoy all you basement dwellers that are dwelling down uh, here in this actual physical real, real basement, basement that we're in yeah. right now. I'm slapping the basement table right that now. That he made with his hands. Yes, it's made out of basement material. And... Uh, <clears throat> And you're here with us, so thank you for that. Uh, if you want to be a basement dweller, click the subscribe button, and uh, you can join us. There's always more room in the basement. Isn't that right? Mm hmm So we'll see you right here for the next time uh, Super Metroid we play. We well, Let's play, we play Super today. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> this just keeps going. I know. Going that was going. a super rambly ending. <laughs>